Well, hello, and I'm really glad you can join me, Peter Huxtable, here in St. Helens Church, Stapleford, for the first of six short videos that I'm sharing during the last month of being vicar here in this great parish. I take a last look inside the treasure trove. Now, I'm not talking about secret stashes of money, but rather in each of these videos, a quick reminder of the things that we've held really dear, some treasure to hold on to uh, that we've enjoyed over the past 10 years and more here in the parish. And the things that I hope will still be a priority in the future and the other side of the lock lockdown restrictions being relaxed. Well, today, the treasure is the community of welcome and grace. When I first arrived as vicar in Stapleford Parish, I came into this beautifully reordered church. Uh, it was an amazing surprise. There was the glass doors and the heating and the lighting, the, the chairs and the fact that you could move absolutely everything uh, to how you wanted to lay the space out. Uh, it was an absolute delight for me and amazing generosity and foresight of the people uh, before I arrived to do that. Take my hand, for I am here. But fundamentally, of course, I'm not talking about the building, but more about what the building represents and of course the people in the building and more than that the way that we treat each other and think about how to share the faith that we have so this wonderful space has had of course services of all sorts weddings funerals and those sort of things which has attracted lots of people but as well as those We've had parties, we've had banquets and balls, we've had concerts, we've had special courses where people have discussed life and faith and issues that concern them. We've held messy church and uh, arranged the furniture in all sorts of ways for that. We've had time travelling with the church crawling with school children. Uh, we've had school visits as well around the festivals with Christmas and Easter. We've had prayer time, civic occasions, Walter Parker memorial services. We've even had holiday club where we've strung up a, a volleyball net and had skittles down the aisle here. You name it. And we've welcomed so many people in here, thousands and thousands. And really, it's all about, together, all of us, having the imagination and the enterprise that can-do spirit, that all things are possible with God. Music, of course, has featured quite highly in a lot of the things that we've had a go at here, hasn't it? And you can look back on things like this Easter Passion service, for instance. It's a Or more recently, the Christmas carols we had a go, even in the restrictions, able to bring that choir to everybody over Christmas. sorts of ways, bringing everyone together with music, with humour, with joy and building that trust and appreciation. We have a St Helens along with St Luke's and the Church at Montrose Court set out to be communities of welcome and grace where people can feel that they belong and discover the God who loves them very much. So yes, that's the message really on, for all that we have wanted to do and have done over the last few years in this space and the different things that we've got up to. It's all been about welcome. It's all been about that you are welcome with a capital W. From whatever background, whatever point of view, whatever stage of life. 
A real special memory for me over these years has been our morning service and it's been great to welcome uh, and to pack this place out really each Sunday with people from age two weeks old to 92 years old and everyone in between. It's been a happy family, it's been a place where we've accommodated each other and we haven't minded when things are a little bit untidy, a bit chaotic. Uh, it's all been about helping people belong and find their place in the family of God and to discover God's love for each other and for, for themselves. So uh, let's hold on to those things that we can't do at the moment, that treasure that is there waiting to come out once more when the restrictions go down in the new chapter of St. Helens, St. Luke's and Montrose Court's life. Uh, some words from Isaiah to encourage us to keep that vision going. Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises over you. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters are carried on the hip. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. Once again in the future, this place will be a centre of life, of hope, of joy, and a welcome of all into this Christian community of grace. That's the treasure to cherish and hold on to as things change for the better later into this year. Thank you very much. How wonderful, oh Jesus